on this video I'm going to be doing a first flight review of the DJI Fly App 1.4.8 and this is specifically the build version 1.1.1.6 if you've not seen my previous video I uh, downloaded a previous version and it wasn't quite up to date so DJI have launched another version so let's click go fly and the first thing that you're going to be hit with straight away is this bottom left hand corner and as you can see the compass is now the default view um, the only thing DJI need to do now to fix this even further is just put it back to the bloody middle where we've got that nice empty space and I think everybody will be happy so as we click it then we can still switch between the map the map is still there we can always switch to satellite view I can assure you those cars are not there today and then we click back to the compass okay now because this is my second flight one thing to notice with regarding the compass is initially I thought that my compass was off and I did a compass calibration it seems that initially upon launch of the new app there has been some changes okay so as you can see the little dot in the corner um, has got a green arrow above it now that used to be blue now the major thing is going to take place when I take off but first of all I'm just going to click the three buttons in the top right hand corner just have a little look through some of the options to see if I can notice any change okay so nothing has changed there compass normal I'm you normal um, can't see any differences there advanced safety settings again always worth checking to see if there's any differences do apologize if there's a little bit of uh, wind it's quite quite windy today so it'd be a bit of a test for the for the uh, dji mini 2 which i'm using on this flight advanced gimbal settings i don't read i don't tend to change any of these but uh you might do i might do a video on that at some point uh the function button no additional changes there camera again nothing uh, the overexposure warning is still there it's definitely not going to be required today it's absolutely dull as hell transmission then we are always on dual band if you're not on dual band it takes away the whole point of OcuSync, so you should always leave that option on you should never really want to change to a manual 2.4 or 5.8 it doesn't make sense and then if we go into the uh, about as you can see i'm using the up-to-date firmware now i did post a video to say that uh, you can roll back the firmware to a previous version and it might give you a better flight stability performance many of you have basically commented to say that that is what you found as well however because we've got a new app version i'm going to test it out on that latest firmware All right and as you can see the app version is 1.4.8 so first of all let's look back at the compass then and what i'm going to do is i'm going to start a recording and then take it off because you're going to find this bit interesting let's go ahead and take off take off the home point has been updated please check it on the map now first of all i thought that there was a problem with my compass and it turns out it's actually not what it is okay is as i go and fly out all right the blue dot is now finally finally above that yellow home point all right rather than us looking out for a little uh, arrow in front of the home point which just doesn't make sense and then what i'll do is i'll just back this up as you get closer which I think is a really really cool feature as you get closer to home that blue dot switches away from the home point all right automatically just so you can see it and now I'm pretty much directly overhead right there we go that's me so let's go take a flight out then and let's just see how we do for any sort of reception um, like I said, this is my second flight and one of you guys is going to have to just help me out with the uh, whole exposure thing. I can't see any difference whatsoever, if I'm honest. So let's get a little bit over the water then. And I wanted to do this location because of the lag and signal drops I was getting last time. And I just thought I'd give it a bit of a comparison. See if we get any lag on the video and straight away yes we've got a huge amount of lag on the video it's like a plan that intentionally wasn't it honestly you can't edit that thing in there we go and we've got more lag again so de a definite problem for me um which is really really quite poor to be honest uh, you know regardless of whatever it is um this is the dji mini 2 with ocusync um it sh we shouldn't be losing signal or getting lag at that sort of distance 
So that completes that little bit of the test and I'll just fly back just to do the exact same as what I've done on the previous few flights and again you saw that little bit of lag there. But it is what it is. So obviously we've got this feature here um, where we can adjust the exposure. If it's a really really uh, dark day like it is today you might want to ramp that up a little bit just to set your own exposure. Uh, one thing to mention very common on people's videos is the fact that uh, the horizon often isn't level on the DJI Mini 2, but all we need to do is just look back at that uh, attitude indicator and you see that the drone is fighting wind quite heavily. And of course, if we switch it round, you'll see it's really having to bank into the wind. And I don't think the uh, horizon being out that level, given the fact that it really is banking severely into the wind, is too bad. So let's head back then. Let's just see if we do get any signal dropout. So there we go, <laughs> right on cue. And we've got that little drop in the signal at the top as well. Sorry guys, uh, I know I don't like giving bad news, but one thing to mention as well is I've mentioned this on the channel so many times, app, app updates do not affect flight performance. So I just wanted to do this test just to put your mind at rest, but I wouldn't have expected it to affect affected the flight. So yeah, the Mini is really battling the wind, as you can see, we are in uh, normal mode and we're getting about 7.4, 7.5. But, testament to the DJI Mini 2, it does a pretty good job, I cannot argue. And as you can see, with the compass in the bottom corner, I am facing the drone at all times. So overall, a nice, easy, simple flight then. Um, everything seems good. Um, I do use a, a quite up-to-date, there we go, a little bit more lag, new, oh, a very flashy new up-to-date Oppo Find X3 phone. Um, and, you know, if you are suffering from a lot of uh, lag on your screen, one piece of advice would be to make sure that you're, you're shutting down all of your open apps. Um, that makes a huge difference. Uh, reduces strain on your phone CPU. Again, do apologise for the little bit of wind there. But overall, it does seem quite stable. Um, oh, there we go. Every time I say it's stable, we get stuttering and lag. I mean, come on, guys. I'm facing the drone. Um, I'm 175 metres away. This isn't acceptable, is it? <laughs> you know. Um, I'm not over any real areas of interference. There we go. More lag. Let's just check. Transmission. You know, we've got nothing, you know. Oh, well, actually, it's switch over there, but still, not a lot. And like I say, uh, my phone is very up-to-date, very powerful, and I've got no open apps other than the DJI Fly app and a screen recorder. Uh, it's an inbuilt screen recorder, so it's not a separate app. So we're not talking about uh, any additional uh, strain on the CPU or, or the phone. So, yeah, so sun is coming out ever so slightly let's just knock that EV down a little bit even let's go to zero let's stop the recording this badge seems to be a little bit new oh and the drone seems to be rising up by itself that wasn't me <laughs> let's take a photo there we go so in photo mode we can set the exposure right then so let's just look through the camera options uh, we've got 4K, 25 and 24 frames per second, nothing's changed. 2.7K up to 60 frames per second and the same on 1080p. And let's just give the zoom a little bit of a go. We have up to four times zoom on 1080p. And as you can see, you know, that does a fantastic job. Let's uh, zoom back out of there then. And I think it is time to land the aircraft. Um, as for the exposure, I'm not entirely sure what's changed. You guys can let me know in the comment section below if you found anything. The compass is absolutely fantastic. So it's time to end the video. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified of all my latest videos as they come out. And see you again soon.